Why can't I hear them? You have it on mute. Oh, yeah. Oops. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi, sorry. Technical difficulties. Yes, I have a question. How much does it cost? Uh, oh. One at a time. We can't hear you. Got some college money saved up. It's not that simple. Excuse me. We are really Ben Stark. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, you, sir. I don't have any money, but if you make my mom and daddy love each other, I'll give you this. Aww. Aww. That's very sweet of you. But we're not here to take your money or your teddy bear. We're here to create a safe place to share stories and support one another. Oh, oh okay. that makes sense. I get it now. Will you tell us your story? Oh, yeah. Great that's idea. a great idea. Yeah. Okay, but it's a really, really long story. Looks like we have some time. Uncle Paul's still sleeping. So, where should we start? Ooh, ooh, remember Dad in that funny row? <laughs> no, we should start when we were behind the bushes. And really? Why? No. The story's not about all the crazy things we did. But it was really fun stuff. Yeah. Our story's about faith, hope, and love, and how adults need to be reminded what they had and what's still there. Let's go back, way back. It was 1998. Wait, wait. Did they have color TVs back then? Oh yeah, you're right. Not that far back. Dad was working his usual shift at the local Italian restaurant. He was the best waiter. He knew everybody's name. It was just another Friday night until he met her. For the first time in his life, he was speechless. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. And that's unusual for Dad. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sorry. Can I take this table? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, ladies. Welcome to Tony's Villa Vista. My name is Brent, and I will be taking care of you. Mom said she had a little crush on Dad right away. And then I'll be serving you. <laughs> and what's pretty funny, too. Yeah. Do, you, do you know what you'd like to order? They both knew something special was happening that night. Mom can feel it. I'm pretty sure that's why she stuck around for a little while. Uh, save me by. <laughs> yeah. They talked and laughed all night. Mom had a smile that could light up a room. Dad even got a little mushy and drew a picture for her. It really was love at first sight. They got married right away. Bought a new house. And we started showing up one by one. Yeah, that's me in the belly. That's me as a baby. Aren't I so cute? They were so happy. We were so happy. <laughs> but time changes everything. Izzy, go get the bread. Oh my gosh. We got this, sis. What am I forgetting? Oh yeah, sauce. So pretty. It's all in the details. <gasps> Wait, you gotta get the waters. We have to hurry. Mama's gonna be here any minute. Is Dad gonna show this time? Yes. I hope this works out. Stop worrying. It will. Izzy, you got sauce all over the plates. Brother, it doesn't have to be perfect. Said it once. I've said it a million times. It's all in the detail. Aw, it's perfect, Ruby. They'll love it. Mom's here. Andrew, did you set up the monitor? <sighs> I forgot. <gasps> Daddy! Ruby, go stand by the door.
more, but don't let Dad until I tell you to. Andrew, move it! We need some serious intel tonight! Right on it. Wow, it smells so good. Hi, Mom. Hey. You're here early. You cooked dinner? Yes, I threw together my famous lasagna. You are so amazing, sweetheart. Oh, you take such good care of us. It's the least I could do. I know that you have a lot on your mind. I wonder who that can be. I'll go get it. Okay, open the door. Hi, Daddy. Hey. What? Surprise! Surprise! What? Brent? Yeah, what, uh, what are you guys up to? We thought it'd be nice for all of us to have dinner together, like a family. Well, that would be up to your mom. Yes, of course. I mean, we're still a family. Great. Let's eat. Izzy, great job with dinner. Thanks, Dad. You want more? No. I'm full. Thank you, sweetheart. When's your first baseball game? Don't know. Thinking about quitting the team. That's a pretty rose. Ruby did that. Details, Mom. I remember when your father remembered those details. Who wants dessert? I do. I do. Sir, who has dessert on the porch? I was awkward moment. I just panicked. Come on, guys. Let's tell the monitor. Shh, shh. Listen. You can't see him, all right? Seriously? Can't you see how hard this has been on them? Look at all this trouble that they went to just for us to have a family dinner together. Yeah, we just had a very nice family dinner. What did he say? Shh, shh, shh. I can't hear. Nothing seemed odd. It didn't seem odd? Are you kidding? They've just been acting so strange lately. I just think they, they know. Yeah, of course they know. What? Did you say something? What do we know? This isn't going well. Brent. Know what? Did you say something to the kids about us? No, of course not. You know, I don't know where your head is right now, but you're yeah. definitely not present. Um, it, I'm sorry, it's, it's the office. I, I gotta get back to my place. You know what, we agreed that no matter what happens with our marriage, we would keep this family together. Sarah, I know that, and I'm sorry, okay? Chelsea called an emergency meeting for tomorrow, and there's a lot riding on this ally deal. You promised the kids that you would take them to the movie tomorrow. I know that. And I'll do my best to get here by noon. Do you even know what your best is? Nice. What do we know? What don't we know? We don't know one week. Mom and Dad have been separated for a year. Maybe they are getting a divorce. Andrew, stop. We don't know that for sure. Let's just have faith and everything will work out. Mommies and daddies should stay together. Yeah. We've got nothing to worry about. Come on, guys. How many times do we have to go over this? It's obvious. We've had radio silence from Allied for the past two weeks, which can only mean one thing. Callaway. Um, it's not good? Wrong answer. It means someone else is courting Harlan. I need you to find out who is trying to steal this deal from us. 
Right, 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 right. Find out who the other company. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm going to take you to the movies. Come on. Wait, I thought Pat was taking us. Come on, let's go. You're going to miss the previews. Right, right. Find out who's the other company. I'm on it, we're on it, Brent's on it, right, Brent? <clears throat> on it, yes. Would you like a more quiet place to text, Lambert? Oh, yep. Yeah, uh, sorry about that, Chelsea. We're about to lose $13 million in permission. Sorry just isn't good enough. Find out who is playing in our sandbox and squash them. Absolutely. We will get it done. I mean, what's up with all the texts, man? You was leaving me hanging here. Come on, guys. I'm sorry about that, Cal. It's Sarah. I think we're done. I'm sorry, man. He has been separated for what, like a year? Yep. It's kind of a long time, man. Can't say he didn't try. He tried, right? I think so. <sighs> Sorry about today. Yeah, no. always something. So we go to court in a couple of days. Yeah. I guess this is it then. I guess. I didn't want this. I don't think you know what you want, Brent. Okay, all right, I get it. It's all my fault, I own it. That's not what I said. It's just your priorities aren't in order, that's for sure. Maybe we should just do what I came here to do. for a second uh, your mom and I have something that we we need to tell you sometimes for parents to be better parents they need to get, get a divorce Andrew it's not what you're about to say uh, yes but we want you to know that we are still going to be a family, okay? Yeah, then we love you very much. And we love you too. But your divorce has a direct impact on our personal and emotional well-being. So we can't allow this to happen. We'll discuss our next course of action and get back to you. Thank you. What she said. Ditto. We'll discuss our next course of action. What do you mean we're not going to let this happen? Oh boy, you got that crazy look in your eye. What are we going to do? Look, I still believe mom and dad love each other. So, we need to take matters into our own hands. And I know the perfect person who can help. Come on, let's go! <laughs> I think it's this way. Hey, 
guys. Whoa, what happened to you? That was nothing. I was just uh, cutting a tree down the other day and I fell. Down that hill? Yeah, yeah, down that hill. But it's okay. I, I landed on my feet. Ow! It looks like you landed on his face. Oh! You know, Uncle Paul, maybe you need help around here. No, it's nothing a little ice won't take care of. Maybe you should sit down for a minute. Oh! Ruby, go get an ice pack for Uncle Paul. Yeah. Good idea. Come on. Okay, let's go. All right. And out. Okay. Look, I know you guys didn't come all the way over here to take care of this old fella, so I can tell something's bothering you. Well, it's kind of a long story. Our parents are getting a divorce, and we need your help. Well, that pretty much sums it up. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, guys. Really, I am. Look, I, I, I know you're a little young to understand this, but relationships are complicated and your parents have been dealing with this for a while and and there's only so much I can do they need to be willing to do the work clearly they're not working hard enough well here you go oh goodness let's move this down to my feet and I got something for you uncle Paul focus we need serious help oh patience child Okay. Can we pray or something? Isn't that what pastors do? I can pray, you can pray, and your parents can pray. Okay, which one? That one. For you and that for you. And so what we're going to do, take this string, and you're going to hold it really tight. Hold it tight, hold it tight. And you're going to pull, and just like that, not very strong, right? And then we go to the purple one. Watch the purple one. Watch, there's a little string right here. And you're going to hold this really tight. Yep, yep, really tight. So beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Look, and then we're going to twist it together with this green one. And you're gonna hold it tight and look, it's a little stronger. Fall, fall, fall. We can't get it. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness, that was strong, wasn't it? But it still comes undone. And now let's go to the gold one. And when we take three strings, we're gonna twist that together, and it all of a sudden becomes a lot stronger. And so that's what happens when you put God in the center of a marriage. It becomes that much stronger. That's what'll happen if our parents pray. It's start. But they're going to court in two days. Listen, I think what your parents need is time. And I've got a buddy that owes me a favor, and I think that he can help give your parents the time that they need. Is this person a pastor like you? Well, not exactly. Hi, I'm Donovan Marshall. Call me now, 323-555-0102. There's a new marshal in town, and he's collecting for you. Don't be shortchanged. Ho, 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 ho. You have outdone yourself. Seriously, this is a game changer. I love the line, there's a new marshal in town. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, yeah. You put it all over social media. We can't afford that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instacart. Instagram. He knows what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> okay, great. This is awesome, seriously. Move over, Spielberg. All right, talk to you later. Come on, this is the place. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm so excited, but I hope everything goes well. Come on, Ruby. We can't afford those commercials. We can't even afford this office. We're perfectly fine in my father's garage. You're not thinking big enough. This is gonna get my name out there. They're gonna come knocking at my door. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> There's a new marshal in town collecting for you. Mark my word, you're gonna be broke so soon and we will be back in my padre's casa. Porque nunca entiendes lo que te estoy diciendo. Hi! Are you doing the Marshall? Yes. Great! A good friend sent us. <laughs> Wait. Oh boy. Ay, pero que bonito. You guys are so cute. Oh. <laughs> Can I get you anything to drink? Yes, oh, thanks. well, yeah. that's not necessary. They're not staying very much longer. What are you doing? Okay, kids. I'm afraid I don't have any lollipops. <laughs> We're not here for candy. We need a lawyer. Look, I'm a personal injury attorney. I work with people who've 
actually been injured somehow. So. Well, we have been injured. It hurt. <laughs> yes. Now we're talking. I mean, how unfortunate. Our parents are getting a divorce. It's gonna mess everything up. It hurts our feelings. I'm not following here. Sorry. You're a lawyer, right? Yes. We want you to sue them or something. Make it so they can't get a divorce. Or at least not right away. They need time. Time for what? For our parents to figure it out. So they can start praying for each other. Oh, you want me to intervene in an ongoing court proceedings and file an injunction, thus delaying your parents' divorce. Yes. Can you do it? <laughs> not a chance. But why? One, I don't do divorces. Two, what you're asking will probably get me disbarred. And three, most important, no one in the scenario has any money. No. Really? No. no, please. No. My watch is worth a pretty penny. No, it's not really. Out. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks for nothing. Come on, Ruby. Okay. And thank you, too. All right. Wow, that's a feisty little one. Nope. Excuse me. Mm -mm. All right. Gotta go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What are you doing? You owe a friend a visit. Go. Just go. <sighs> go, 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 go. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Go. <sighs> This will be good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a neat trick you pulled today. Hey, Donovan, old buddy, old pal. Long time no see. Don't old buddy, old pal me, OK? You're meddling again, and I'm not biting. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know you can use zip ties to hang this, right? I think duct tape works just the same. Clearly. Oh. Look, this is a chance for you to help the helpless. I mean, don't you already say that in your commercials? Yeah, I already do that, OK? I've collected millions on their behalf. <laughs> I bet you have. <laughs> I know. This is different. You met the kids. You see how the idea of divorce affects them? You're still trying to save the world. Nah, just my family. So what do you need me for? If you want to help them, why don't you just help them? It's not that easy. My sister is not so inclined to get help from her big brother. Look, come on. Help an old buddy, old pal out. Paul, have you ever heard of No Fault? I mean, courts can't force people to stay married. Yeah, no fault is unilateral divorce. It's when one spouse, acting alone, forces the other into a divorce. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, no promises. <laughs> I'll look into it. This will be good for you. <laughs> Why does everyone keep saying that? Uh, Paul, do you need any help here? No, I got it. It's not my first rodeo. You know, I'm going to remind you again. You're entitled to considerably much more than you're asking for. Well, I just thought it was fair for the both of us. Fair? If fair is all you want, then why did you hire me? Who is Mr. Lambert retained? Well, I think my husband. Uh... Okay, right there. Don't think of him as your husband ever again. From this day forward, he is the defendant. I think Brent, the defendant, uh, hired an old college friend, Hayden Grimes. He was actually best man at our wedding. Grimes? That guy is evil. Claire Hudgens. That woman is black hearted. I don't know what you did to Sarah, but she hired Claire. It's been pretty bad. <laughs> Ryan, it's not like that at all. I mean, I think Sarah knows her from a from a book club or something. Women getting together and talking. <laughs> it's bad news. <laughs> bad news for men. You are funny, man. It's not like that. It's Sarah. We're we're great. It's fine. I'm not overreacting. Listen, buddy, I've been doing this a long time, and I am telling you as a friend, you're gonna have to toughen up, or she's gonna eat you alive. You know why divorces are so expensive. No. Because they're worth it. <laughs> huh? Okay. Come on, bring it in. All right. Don't forget the check. OK. <laughs> what a friend. <laughs> so it's going to happen. Two houses, 
two bedrooms, two sets of clothes, one here and one with that. I can't sleep. It's okay, none of us can. It's going to be fine. Everyone gets divorced these days. Got the most amazing idea. You're getting us a coffee maker? No, I'm, I'm good. How much money do you think I spend on my television commercials? Mm. Exactly, a ton. Where's it get me? Actually. Exactly, nowhere. I'm sorry, I got lost in amazing idea? Could you imagine the free publicity I'll get representing these kids? Call the newspapers, call the radio station. No, I think you're missing the bigger picture here. <gasps> you're right. Forget about the newspapers, call the television stations. What about the clients? Who? The children? Yeah, call them too. If Phil eats one half of a cookie and Billy eats another half of a cookie, how many cookies are left? Easy, two cookies. Uh, it's one cookie. Two has to make one whole. No, but it's not a real cookie, so it would just fall apart. You make a good point. Guys. You're not going to believe this. Mr. Marshall's taking your case. What does that mean? We have a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. What do we do now? I guess we just leave it up to Mr. Marshall. Hey, find anything yet? Yeah, I just found an article on precision agriculture. And it mentions Allied has patents for some of the top AG automation technologies. <laughs> You're brilliant, my friend. Huh. What is this? AG Tech Expo and Conference featuring Chelsea Dwyer on the panel of Feeding the World. An event series focused on technologies transforming the global food system. Tech Influencer. What, what does that even mean? I mean, this doesn't make any sense. She doesn't even know how to use a printer. She's an IT Mother Teresa. That's, yeah. What are you talking about? Do you really think that Chelsea's the head of some charity? Yeah. Do you know she feeds the homeless every weekend? She has a popular blog, Vegan Tech Talk. What? Yeah, really. Cal, are you stalking our boss? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, no. I have to go, Cal. Listen, I, I hate doing this to you, but there's something not right here. You mind digging a little deeper for me? Hey, no problem, Brent. Okay. Saving okay. jobs, saving lives. All right. Hey. Go away. Are you going somewhere, Lemon? Um, I oh, am. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's personal. But I got some good news. I think we may have found something. I believe that the company may be an American tech company. $13 million, Brent. Yes, I know. It's, uh, it's my family. Where are your family, Brent? An extended family of 200 employees. Not to mention the shareholders who are going to want to blame someone if this thing goes sour. Whatever that is, handle it and get your head back in the game. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm gonna be back later. I'm into it 100%, all right? Whatever it takes. We may have a problem. Late for your own divorce hearing. That is one for the books. Oh, it's my boss. She's very manly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And... Your boss is a woman? Yeah. Ah, say no more. Is he always this late? I mean, this could be an issue with alimony and child support. Well, he's usually on time, but lately, I, I don't know. You're still making excuses for him. Let me tell you something about men. Women are process-oriented. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Men are goal-oriented. For them, it's about completing the task, checking it off, and moving on to the next thing. That's why they change so much during marriage. You were once a goal, and now you've been checked off. All we want is to be done, to be finished, to have all the work behind us. But you're never done with a woman. She resets at midnight. You begin each day at zero, my friend. 
They're complacent and lazy. They need us to tell them what time to come home, whether their clothes match or not, or if they like broccoli. No matter how great a sacrifice or what a wonderful husband you've been over the last 20 years, none of that matters now. You may think you have points from the past, but you would be a fool to think you've accumulated any. All rise. The Honorable Judge Hevner presiding. Sit down. Both of you, front and center. I thought I made it clear when I said I never wanted to see the both of you together in my courtroom again. Yes, Judge. Imagine my shock when I discovered that Miss Hudgens here had agreed to represent the plaintiff, knowing very well... Your Honor, Mrs. Lambert, Sarah and I are longtime acquaintances, and I can assure you that she retained my services long before Mr. Brent. I was Brent's best man. Give me a break. Unless the defendant is capable of precognition. Enough! One outburst, one childish display, and I will find you both in contempt. Now... Sit down. In the matter of the marriage of Brent A. Lambert and Sarah C. Lambert, we come to the preliminary hearing before the state court. Are the parties and their attorneys prepared to proceed? Yes, Judge. Yes, Your Honor. Then by all means, please do. Your Honor. This is a case of a stay-at-home mom requesting the right to continue to do so. The defendant... I object! You can't object to an opening statement. I object to your tone. My tone is no more on trial than your mismatched shirt and tie. So arrogant. Quiet! So order! Drive oh, me crazy! I'm arrogant? Unbelievable! I will have order! Now, we are going to proceed in an orderly and professional manner as befits the respectful nature of what we're doing. Your Honor, my name is Donovan Marshall, and I represent the children of the litigants. I request permission to be able to represent and sit in on these hearings. My kids hired an attorney? It's unlikely. It's clearly a tactic employed by opposing counsel. I don't understand. What do the kids have to do with this? Nothing. Children have no adversary interest in a divorce action. This is an obvious ploy to derail our proceedings. Would someone care to tell me what's going on here? Your Honor, as unlikely as it may seem, I can hardly agree that the children have no interest. Why, half this petition concerns itself with custody, visitation, child support, and schooling. And as such, I believe children are entitled to representation. seen your commercials. I know who you are. Yes, Judge. I don't like you. It's understandable. And I won't let you join Moe and Curly over here and turn my courtroom into a three-ring circus. Note it. Your Honor, it may please you to know that I plan to navigate the litigates out of your courtroom and into family mediation. Mediation? Yes. Do you mean to say if I let you sit in today that you, the three of you will just disappear? Well, that's the plan. Hmm. This court will consider you the guardian ad litem for the children of Brent and Sarah Lambert. And as such, you will be permitted to participate in these proceedings. But let me remind you, counsel, this courtroom is no place for cheap Hollywood theatrics. <laughs> well, of course, Your Honor. I have nothing but respect for the sanctity of this courtroom and the judiciary process. Marshall! Marshall! you are championing marriages by representing children in divorce cases. <laughs> you see, I collect with... I fight for those who cannot defend themselves. Are you embarking on a crusade? Family. Bye. Anything yet? No, maybe I should text Bianca. 
Hi. Your mother and I would like an explanation. We're not supposed to discuss the case. It's not going to cut it, Izzy. Sit down. Your dad and I understand that you are having some difficulties with what we're going through. But what you guys did today, that's not the way you handle it. What do you mean? What By mean? hiring a lawyer and going to court. That's not how families deal with their problems. Isn't that what you two are doing? <sighs> Look, I didn't want to get a divorce, but your mother says that she's unhappy. What? So I No, you're going to blame me for this? No. No, you're not going to take any responsibility for this relationship? I'm not blaming you. I'm but just you stating just a fact. But you just did. You can't I'm, just say I'm that not, in I'm front of our kids I'm and not, say that I'm, not, I'm the one that I'm wanted a divorce. But I'm not blaming you. Yes, you. You said to me that you were unhappy. But we live but like roommates. To... That's why well, there's a divorce. Did you not tell me? Well, then what's the I issue? Was the one That's who... not my fault. Excuse me! We're still in the room. I'm sorry. That was wrong of us. I'm sorry. Look, you guys are just going to have to trust us to make the right decisions. Always remember, we are on your side. Remember we're on your side? What does that even mean? Who put my socks in the underwear drawer? Guys, Mr. Marshall said Mom and Dad are going to do mediation. Meditation? No, mediation. It just means they can't get a divorce for now. Holy macaroni. Then we did it. We did it! Yay! <laughs> 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 well, welcome back to Good Morning, Carla. We have Mr. Donovan Marshall with us. And you've had quite a busy morning, haven't you? Yeah, I certainly have, Meredith. You know uh, what? Whether me... it be Carla. But um, <laughs> what would you say to your detractors who claim that what you're doing is nothing more than a self-serving publicity stunt? You know what, Meredith? Petty as it may be, jealousy is rampant in my profession, let me tell you. Although it is, and I understand that, I mean, what you do, I could never do, uh, but this is a no-fault state, and children can't legally stop their parents from divorcing. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> well, you know I cannot discuss the details of my ongoing case, Savannah, but what I can say is this, the children, the children are my main priority. Well, thank you, Mr. Marshall. That's great. Uh, we'll be right back with Good Morning Carla. Yes. Carla. New Marshall in town. Did I wear the right tie? Good morning. Hold a second, please. The phone has been ringing all morning. That's awesome. No, it's not, because half the people calling still drink out of juice boxes. <laughs> Do you see that? Hmm? Someone left that. You had a note that said, there's more where that came from. My new buddy. <laughs> this is serious. You're not listening to me, Mr. Marshall. It's not about kids. Their parents are calling too. Hmm. They're accusing you of giving their children false hope. <laughs> Actually, the VAR is considering to review your practice. You don't even have a plan. <laughs> oh, Bianca, of course I have a plan. It's already in motion. This case will go away. They'll figure it all out in mediation. There's a new marshal in town, and he just saved the day. Ha! We're gonna be rich. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Sad's good. There's money in sad, too. <laughs> we don't want to be disturbed. Trust me, I've got this covered. Ah, speak of the devil. Gotta go. Sit down. I'm uh, sorry about this morning. I'm going through some personal business. Your personal business is all over the news. It's not good for us, Brent. Especially now that things are so fragile. It makes us look unstable, like we might not be up to the task. Well, that was, that was unintentional. My, my kids have- um... Your private life is incidental. I need you to concentrate on what's important. Have you figured out who is dabbling in our pot? Well, I need a, a little bit more time, but I think that it's... It's Dolvatech. Oh. Dolvatech, right. I, 
That was my hunch. How did you... Oh, don't try to take credit for something that I figured out. But since I have my priorities straight, I'm about to make your day. Do you own a tuxedo? Uh, I think I do, somewhere. You and I will be attending a Black Tide charity benefit tonight. Harlan Hames will be there, 7 p.m. sharp. It is critical that you are not late. Well, that... It's a little short notice for me. Do you see what this says? Uh, pain is money. There is no profit in happiness. It's deep. My father taught me that. And he also taught me that winners never make excuses. Sounds like you had a magical childhood. <laughs> oh, you're very funny, Brent. But let's get one thing clear. This is your last opportunity to impress upon Holland that we know what we're doing. It's all on you. Well, I appreciate the second chance. It's your only chance. Harlan, how are you? Yes, we are on our way, 6 p.m. on the dot. Looking forward. Hey, how's the homework going? Good. Good. Uncle Paul says to tell you hello. What? When did you talk to him, Ruby? You don't remember, Mom? We went to see Uncle Paul. Last week, uh, for that thing. Yeah. What? No, remember when we went to his house? <laughs> <laughs> All right, nobody move. I want to know what's going on. Hey, Paul. What a coincidence. We were just talking about you. Why is he calling here? I have no clue. I'll get it. Hey, Dad. Hey, where's your mom? Kitchen. Hey, guys. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Guys, quickly. Uh-huh. Hey. Yeah. Where's my tuxedo? Hey, um... Give it a hold for one second. Hold on. What are you doing? My tuxedo, yeah. I need it. One second. Thanks. Okay, bye. I, where, do you know where my tux is? I need it. Your what? I, my tuxedo. Where is it? Uh, Brent, that was my brother on the phone, and he wants to talk to us something about the kids. I think it's in the garage. Isn't this thing working? Maybe bad reception? Maybe. All right. I have another idea. How where are you going? Did you hear what I said? You know, you, you meet with your brother for the both of us. He makes me nervous. I folded all this when you're pulling it apart. Please. Be careful with this. Wow. My dress. I remember this dress. It was on our first date. Yeah. Did Dad say he was going on a date? What? We never made time for us. What does that even mean? Of course we make time for us. It's always about us and, and, and the house and the kids. No, that's the problem. We never make time for us. You and I. I'm sorry. I, I gotta find this tuxedo. Of course you do. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting Chelsea for this affair at Harlan's. Who's Chelsea? What's an affair? It's the last chance I have of making this deal. Hmm. Where is it, Sarah? I, I, I might have donated it. What? Why? It. Be, it's not like you've been Prince Charming lately, and I. I I had a moment. All right, think. Sorry. I stink. Okay, what? I know what to do. I'm gonna call Hayden. Here, I'm gonna. Hayden, hey buddy. Dad's going on a date with some woman named Chelsea. You can. That's 
Perfect. That, okay, I'll, I'll see you there in 30 minutes. Wait, he still has his tux from our wedding? Go swing dancing in it every weekend. Um, can we talk about this later? Please? Sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I use the shower? You know where it is. Thanks. Dad's a huge creep for doing this to Mom. Yeah. What are we gonna do now? I've got an idea. Wait! Wait, hold on. Anything you'd like to tell me before I go see Uncle Paul? We respect your bravery, all things considered. We want you to know we think what Dad is doing is wrong. We got your back. you can make it. Where's Brent? Oh, it's okay. Come here. Come here. It's gonna be all right. I'll make us some tea. When did you get all this chicken wallpaper? Oh, I just put it up. Pretty snazzy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, chickens. Harlan Haynes? It is. Yes, but nobody's wearing a tuxedo. It's not really a tuxedo kind of establishment. Uh, yeah, well, my friend dropped off a tuxedo for you to give to me, and a short guy, but nobody's wearing a tuxedo. Oh. You know, it's not a pajama party yeah. either, right? In hindsight, I realized it was wrong to interfere without talking to you first, but 
the kids, they just tugged at my heart. So I reached out to an old college buddy of mine in hopes that he would be able to connect me with you and Brent. So this was all your idea? Well, I mean, not entirely. I didn't know Donovan was going to create such a media circus. Look, I know you don't always want advice from your older brother, but in my opinion, divorce isn't always the option that people think it is. So I'm just supposed to stay in a miserable marriage? Is it really that miserable? I mean, I recall two lovebirds that couldn't get enough of each other. <laughs> yeah. I did fall in love with him. But we're just so different now. <sighs> Marriage is a loyal partnership. Do you really think God would leave you with just two options? Misery or divorce? It's a myth. Well, the children deserve to live in a home where their parents aren't fighting all the time. The children deserve to live in a home where the parents learn to not fight with each other. Oh, we're meeting with the mediator tomorrow and I don't even know where to start. Sarah, you can get a divorce. That is an option that is certainly available to you. But you owe it to yourself and to your children to be honest about why you're doing it. Great band. Mm. Little Sue and the Cow Tippers. Oh. That's Tony on the drums. It's my cousin. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, listen, Chelsea, can, may I call you Chelsea? Of course. I've been kicking this around for a long time now. And, you know, I have to say, it's not like I love Dolvitech, you know, like a cat loves a cream jar. But uh, I have to say, right now, Dolvitech's offer is better than Peterson's. And I got 2,000 loyal employees. I look at it's 500 individuals. 1,500 families, 3,500 children, and, and, and then three or 400 grandchildren. You know how many people that is? It's, it's a lot of people, and, and they're gonna still need their jobs after I retire. Oh, see, these here, these are my favorites. Oh, I can't get enough of them. You want some? Uh, no, thank you. Right. Mr. Haynes. Oh, hey, Kelsey, call me Harlan. Consider allowing Brett Lambert to review Dolvitech's offer. Brent is our chief strategist in acquisitions. If he fails to convince you that Peterson is a better home for your company, then my job is done, and I wish you and Dalvatech great success with no hard feelings. It's mighty big of you, Chelsea. You seem to have a lot of confidence in this Brent fella. Mm. He's level-headed, reliable. I'm late. It's <laughs> fun. I see the people that I'm looking for. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Sorry, excuse me. That's my favorite song. Sorry, Ch Chelsea and Mr. Haynes. Uh, can, me. can I? Excuse me. Does Do I already know the fellow? Friends, what's going on over you? I, 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 I can explain. You know what, son? Paint's your color. I've been looking for slippers like that. Well, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit confused here. Nobody's dressed in a tuxedo. Who wears a tux to a barbecue, Brent? You told me that this was a I told you to be here on time. And now you mocked me in front of our client by showing up looking like some insane person. What is, is this alcohol? Drugs? We're gonna get what? you help. All right, no, come, on, come, on, come on, come on, come on, I am so sorry. I think the pressure just got to him. Not to cry and shame when a grown man buckles like that.
Divorce is such a harsh word. I prefer the term matrimonial restructuring. And as your court-appointed mediator, and in the spirit of harmony, I would like to welcome you both. Oh, would either of you care for some organic, hibiscus-infused moon tea? How much? Oh, a single cup should interface your chakra and body mind, allowing you a How more... much is this going to cost? Oh, I see. Well, I recommend a minimum of two 90-minute sessions per week, spread out over three to five months, and that should be enough. All right, you know what? I... I've had enough. Brent. That's a no to the T. What are we doing, Sarah? Really? Our kids are out of control. I've lost my job. And here we are spending everything just to see who gets what's left. None of this was my idea. Actually, this is all your idea. <sighs> Can't we just agree that the both of us have made mistakes and move on from there? You know what? Forget it. Oh, just like that, you're just going to walk away? We didn't have any help to get married, and we sure as heck don't need anybody's help to get divorced. I'm so sorry. Did you want some? What? Well, did you give him the tea? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Well, that's that. What happened? Well, your parents rejected mediation. I guess from the looks of it, your dad's having a nervous breakdown. Uh, word on the street is he lost his job last night, and he showed up to a charity event in a nightgown and fuzzy slippers. Did you say charity event? Yeah. Sometimes the pressure can get to be too much for a man. What do we do now? <laughs> Nothing. We took a shot, didn't pan out. I don't understand. Don't start that, okay? Cut it out. You're killing me, kid. Come on. You said you'd help. I said I'd try, okay? I Look. I said I'd buy you some time, and that's what I did. I said from the start, there's no way to stop a couple from divorcing. They have to decide that on their own. It's time you kids accept that, okay? It's okay, Mr. Marshall. I know you did your best. Goodbye, Mr. Marshall. Goodbye. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Oh. Now don't you start. We made Dad lose his job. I thought he was going on a date. It's all our fault. It's okay, it's not. Oh! Yeah, I'm around back. Hey, uh, you... You got a minute? Sure. How come you have a street sign in your backyard? Oh, that uh, fell down out front during the last storm. It was on my to-do list to put them back up. Isn't that a culinary torch that you use to make desserts? Oh, yeah, but it's also a really good welder. Like, I've been watching these how-to-do videos, and it's amazing the uses you can get out of this little guy. All righty. Hey, I'm sorry that uh, I didn't get over here the other day with Sarah. I, work has been um, a little crazy lately. Really? I thought you got canned for wearing a moo moo to a charity event. <laughs> hey, it was a pink polka dotted robe and white fuzzy slippers, okay? <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Trying to make a statement, huh? Well, that's, I guess that's one way to look at it. I'm sorry, it's just that my kids. Uh, my kids have been acting out, and I, th I think this divorce is taking its toll on them. Yeah, about that. Look, I, I, I apologize for things getting out of hand. You have no idea. And, and, and Donovan has assured me that he is no longer involved in your divorce. 
Paul, why is this so hard? Well, did you think that turning your world upside down would be easy? I mean, tons of people get divorced every day. That's the point. None of this is going to be easy. I mean, nobody wins in a divorce except the attorneys. This is tearing us apart. Well, and that's exactly what is supposed to be happening. Look, God develops this redemptive plan for the world, and divorce just tears at the heart of it. Yeah, but I, I don't think you know our situation. Maybe I don't, but your kids came to me because they saw something that you don't. And maybe your marriage is just so beyond fixable that there's just no reason to try any longer. Uh, look, I'm sorry that we haven't been close. Uh, I just want to thank you for looking after us. We are family. It's what we do. Ow. You might want to take a break from all this. Oh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Oh, hey, I'm fixing to glaze a baked ham for lunch. You, you want to join? With that? Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. No, it's, I'm okay. I'm good. <laughs> Might do a creme brulee. <laughs> good night, Mr. Marshall. Good night, Bianca. You know what? I need to get this off my chest. Those kids came here sincerely asking you for your help. But you made this all about you, the new marshal in town. I believe that you can help those kids if you stop being so selfish. You are a good lawyer. Act like it. Well, I thank you for your honesty. I will definitely... Think about it. Those kids are not the only ones Uncle Paul is helping here. Good night, Mr. Marshal. Good night, Bianca. Proverbs 31 and 8. Proverbs 31 and 8. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are vulnerable. Mr. Marshall? Oh, <laughs> looks like you found you a new friend. Huh? huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Bianca, I just want to say that, well, everything you said to me last night is true. I have been a little selfish, and I haven't given this thing my best shot. <laughs> Pardon? Excuse me? Did you just say that I was right? <laughs> we got a lot of work to do, okay, Bianca? Oh, finally. Does that mean that I can have a new coffee maker? Maybe. to come by. Sorry. 
Sure you don't want to get that? Yeah, sure. I just wanted to say I'm sorry for what I said at the mediator's office yesterday. I was out of line. Wow. This is unexpected. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, I gotta get back to the office. Uh, Chelsea was kind enough to allow me to box up my stuff and take the walk of shame, so. Of course. Go. And, uh, see you in court. Isabel, Donovan Marshall here. Mr. Marshall? Listen, tomorrow your parents are going back to court. Mr. Marshall, I get you don't want to help us, but let's not rub salt in the land. No, 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 no. I want to help. Really? Yeah. I think I found it. Found what? OK, this is a long shot, but I got one important question for you. Do your parents still love each other? I know they do. Well, then your parents just need to be reminded. Reminded? Isabel, sometimes adults need a little push in the right direction so they can remember why they chose that path in the first place. OK, let me think about it. Bye. Bye-bye. Reminded. I got it. I knew there was a corazón over there somewhere. <laughs> See, I told you it was going to be good for you. I'm a pretty good guy, aren't I? <laughs> I found an extra one. Thought you might need it. Oh, this will fit perfectly. Don't forget to lock up. Hey, have a wonderful evening. Don't speak to me. Ooh, they don't make them like that no more. OK, anyway, you was right about something being fishy about this whole deal, OK? I looked into the company that was sponsoring the expo that Chelsea was attending. And it's called A, A, G, A, G, A, G, Z, AGZ Tech. AGZ Tech is the sister company to Dover Tech. And I'm pretty sure Chelsea's on the board, but don't quote me on that because I'm still waiting for Intel. Of course. Of course she's. Mm -hmm. Chelsea's playing both sides. It's a slice and dice. All they wanted was Hames's patents. Mm -hmm. So Dover Tech liquidates Ally, their stock goes through the roof. And Chelsea makes a chunk of change. Boom. <sighs> hey, um, sorry I haven't been more supportive lately, really, I'm, and, and I appreciate you looking out for me. Hey, man, look, you're my boy. You're my amigo, OK? I don't want to see you go out like that, man. You OK? I mean, you know, bittersweet, but. Oh, it's from Sarah. She wants to talk. You miss her, huh? I do. Oh, Dad takes the back. Hurry up. Meet at six. Delete. Okay, okay, okay. Send. Delete. You know what, man? Get out of here. Go put on something nice and don't wear that bathrobe, please. Get out of here, brother. Thanks, Kel. Ah. Hey, did you finish that project? Yeah. And you're ready for your test? Yes. OK. Almost done. Hey, would you guys mind watching Ruby tonight? Oh, not at all. I can work on some facts with her. And I clip up a nice little meal for all of us. Thank you, honey. When we met, it was the night I can't forget. When you winked your eye and 
sent me you look beautiful I haven't heard you say that in a long time this place has not changed a bit yeah I was surprised you asked me here me you're the one that suggested we come. Good evening and welcome to Tony's. My name is Thomas. I'll be serving you this evening. Could I interest you in a complimentary appetizer prepared especially for you? Uh, sure. What Thank you. World? You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. What is this? Did you do this? Must have been the kids. why you love each other. That's definitely Ruby's writing. Oh, and look at Ruby. She's a little chunky. <laughs> wedding picture. Look at, there's so much stuff in here. Look at this. Oh, boy. I did this of you right here. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yeah. And I said, love at first sight is easy. It's when two people who have been staring at each other for years, that's when it becomes a miracle. Do you remember what you said to me after that? Come on, Brent, do you remember? Look, I'm tired of keeping this thing back and forth. Get out there, nail down this deal with Dolvatech, all right? Well, go on. Wait, do you remember? What? I'm so sorry. Will you excuse me just for a minute? Where, where are you going? Don't move. I'll be right back, I promise. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Haynes. What, do I know you? May, may I have a word with you, sir? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. You, we met. Yeah, you're, you're the fellow from the barbecue. Yes, that's, that's me. May I sit? May all I right, sit? all right. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. Um, about that, I just... I'm Brett Lambert, and I want to apologize for the other night. Unbelievable. Sir, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going through some personal issues right now, and, which is not the reason why I, I came over here. It's about your company and the sale to Dolvatech. I'll give you to the end of my drink. Okay. Uh, Dolvatech plans on chopping up LA United Farms and selling it off in bits and pieces. I'm almost certain of it. Also, I believe, and I can't prove this, that Chelsea was uh, playing both sides. She sits on the board of one of Dover Tech's subsidiaries and stands to make a lot of money from the sale of their stock, which is why she sabotaged the sale to Peterson. But she needed to cover her tracks, which is why she set me up, sir. And honestly, uh, Mr. Hames, if I wasn't so preoccupied with my divorce, I would have seen this much sooner. And if I wasn't so preoccupied with my work, I would have spent more time with my wife and I wouldn't uh, be in this position. So, so anyway. I don't like being hornswoggled, Brent. No, you're not, sir. I'm to blame. I'm, I'm the one accountable. Yeah, well, blame and accountability are two different things. To be accountable? Well, that's to be responsible for fixing things when they go haywire. And blame, that's the price you pay for running away from responsibility. Yeah. I like you, Brent. Thank you. I'll have my boys check this out, and if what you say holds water, heads are gonna roll. I appreciate that, sir. Um, excuse me.
That was mom. She didn't sound very happy. What are we gonna do? We can't let them go to court tomorrow. We could try Ruby's Got a Fever. That always works. Tricks aren't gonna work this time, guys. It's up to them. One, can be overpowered. Two, can defend themselves. But a court of three is not easily broken. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Am I to understand that you both have terminated your legal relationships with your counsel? Yes, Judge. Yes, Judge. I see. Uh, what's your dog in the hunt here, Mr. Marshall? Well, Your Honor, as my client's wishes to withdraw their petition for injunction and let these proceedings proceed unencumbered. A sensible decision. Well, since there are no further objections in the matter of Lambert versus Lambert, I hereby order a decree for a divorce shall be... Uh... Uh, provided, of course, that the litigants can provide satisfactory evidence to that end. Excuse me. Well, Your Honor, may I draw the court's attention to California Code 598.5, subsection 1, paragraph G, which states... The trial petitioner must present satisfactory evidence that there has been a breakdown of the marriage relationship and that there remains no reasonable likelihood that the marriage can be preserved. Now, in light of the fact that petitioner Sarah Lambert has not provided such evidence, I ask the court that may she provide this evidence now. All right, I'll allow it. But make it quick, counselor. Thank you, Your Honor. Miss Lambert, if you will. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Simply explain to the court why your marriage is so broke that you feel it is not worth your time or effort to repair it. Nothing good is coming out of this. Well, I wouldn't exactly put it like that. Well, how would you put it, Mrs. Lambert? Was there adultery? No, never. Were either you or Mr. Lambert sentenced to prison? Is there allegations of abuse? What? No, you have it all wrong. Oh, got it all wrong. Well, then enlighten us, Mrs. Lambert. Please explain to us why we're all here today. I felt so alone. Hmm. And you thought by divorcing your husband that's going to make you feel less alone? No, I just wanted Brent to prioritize our marriage and make me feel important as, as much as the kids and his job. And you thought by nagging him, by blaming him, by withholding your love and support for him. Mr. Marshall, I find your tone unnecessarily hostile. I just wanted him to... To what, Mrs. Lambert? To what? Just to... To stand up. She just wanted me to stand up for us. And don't ever talk to my wife like that again. Mr. Lambert? Your Honor, I... I thought the... the value of a man was measured by how hard he worked and how quickly he climbed the ladder of success. But what's funny is as soon as I got kicked off that ladder, the only thing I could think about was my wife and kids. Last night wasn't a trip down memory lane. Our kids were trying to remind me, remind us of the love we had. And the, the love that we've taken for granted. And the love that's still there to be rediscovered. From the moment I saw you, it was love at first sight. 
got my everything. And I do remember what I said to you that night. Do you believe in miracles? I do. Looks like a sand whatever. <laughs> Case dismissed. And I don't want to ever yes. see any of you again. Bye, this gets out. We're ruined. It's finished. And that's how we became one happy family. Hey, hey, Paul. Mr. Marshall started helping Uncle Paul at his place. We thought that was a really good idea since Uncle Paul really needed the help. And he was running out of band-aids. Yeah, hurts. <laughs> Dad finally got his promotion. His boss was not very happy about that. Great. Mr. Marshall surprised Bianca and got her a coffee maker. Business was really picking up for them. <laughs> and here we are, our first dinner together, where we all just laughed. Dad told corny jokes, and Mom just couldn't stop smiling. And that bread was really, really good bread. <laughs> oh, look. Uncle Paul's waking up. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, we have to go. But we'll have a session next week, same time. Bye! Bye. Bye. That was fun. Mr. Marshall, I think I have a few more clients for you.